वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री सेकेंड इयर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज फॉर रिवाइज द टॉपिक्स फॉर एग्जामिनेशन पैटर्न सो मैनेजमेंट्स वॉन्ट्स टू कंडक्ट एग्जामिनेशन एग्जामिनेशन फॉर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट दिस क्लास एज ए रिविजन so in this class we are going to discuss so some questions from given by the management from each chapter we are going to discuss so not total chapters covered so only some chapters that that is solutions solid state chemical e chemical kinetics and electrochemistry next so that is the chapter that is totally covered okay so three chapters in these three chapters uh, so we give uh, means uh, given some short answers very short answers and uh, long answers so we are going to uh, discuss about these questions uh, you are going to write in examination point of view see here students uh, if you covered all these uh, 15 questions nearly 15 questions is given in this paper so these are questions i collected from previous uh, Uh, examination examination papers so, so these are very important uh, definitely have a chance for getting in this uh, uh, 15 questions uh, nearly 20 to 25 marks 20 20 20 to 25 marks minimum 20 marks have a chance for getting so see in first chapter what is uh, first chapter means uh, chapter number 1 chapter number 1 is a uh, solid state solid state in solid state so first question is question number 1 question number 1 it is a solid state question number 1 is given it is a question number 15 page number 9 in the material so what is question number 1 means scott key defect scott key defect you have to write the definition of scott key defect and you have to draw the diagram which reference to scott key defect and then you have to give examples that's enough that is for two marks question this is for two marks question two marks question it is a question number 1 next what is a fenkel defect what is a fenkel defect it is a question number 2 and uh, it is also a two marks question it is also two marks uh, question okay so this is a uh, fenkel defect you have to write a definition of fenkel defect uh, that is nothing but a dislocation defect uh, and next uh, you have to draw a small diagram which is belongs to fenkel defect uh, and you have to write uh, examples what is given in your material so this is a uh, question number 16 in page number 9 so actually it is a two marks question combinedly you are going to get uh, for four marks that's why individually given for two marks and two marks very important topics these two next uh, question number 3 brax equation question number 3 it is a four marks question students it is a four marks question it is a very important uh, it is a one and only question for four marks in this chapter it is a very important question what is a brax equation means uh, you have to derive you have to derive sin d is equal to n lambda by 2 sin theta you have to derive d is equal to n lambda by 2 sin theta okay already i explained so you have to prepare these questions uh, with practicing manner don't read with lips chemistry you have you uh, chem means uh, for getting chemistry the reading pattern is quite different to compare other subjects so when you are reading chemistry you have to keep rough notes and pen along with you and you have to read with practicing manner you have to read each and every point and you have to write you have to present then you may know the what is the mistakes is going on when you are writing in writing manner some mistakes will be happen so what is the mistakes is going on in writing manner then you may easily identify it then have a chance no chance to repeat these mistakes in examination point of view okay see students next 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दट इज नथिंग बट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ओनली थ्री क्वेश्चन गिवेन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट चाप्टर स्कॉट की डिफेक्ट फैंकल डिफेक्ट एंड ब्रैक्स इक्वेशन नेक्स्ट सेकेंड चाप्टर इज चाप्टर नंबर टू दट इज सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम दिस चाप्टर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सिक्स मार्क्स From this chapter, you are going to get a six marks. Means one four marks question and one very short, one short answer and one very short answer. See here, short answers, very short answers are so covered in this in this chapter. So question number four, that is Raoult's law, state Raoult's law, state Raoult's law. This is a two marks question, very important question. This is a two marks question. What is Raoult's law means? So, the relative lowering vapor pressure of a dilute solution containing non-volatile solute is equal to its mole fraction of the solute. So, you have to write it sta this statement. And P naught minus P S by P naught is equal to E X B. E X B means so you have to write uh, what are number of moles. Uh, of uh, solute by in total number of moles of solute plus uh, solvent you have to write like this okay you will get uh, two marks and at the same time uh, then only statement rules are you know uh, you have to write next question number fifth fifth question number five it is also two marks question it is also very important uh, it is a uh, two marks question this is uh, isotonic uh, solutions isotonic solutions see what are isotonic solutions it is a very easy and important question what are isotonic solutions means the solutions having same osmotic pressure or at a given temperature are called isotonic solutions so you have to write one example that's enough so it is from solutions question number 14 and page number 30 so these two very shorts it is a two marks two marks indicates a very short four marks indicates a short answer okay next see here question number 6 question number 6 what is relative lowering vapor pressure how is it useful to determine the molar mass of a solute molar mass of a solute it is a very important question you have to write relative lowering vapor pressure then you have to explain you have to how it is useful to molar mass of the solute it is the direct question in your material question number 40 page number 33 so it is a problematic question for bpsc students especially you have to read this question in practicing manner then only you may identify where the mistakes is going on it is also question number 6 it is also from solutions of four marks question next to see question number 7 define mole fraction and calculate mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing 20% c2h6o2 by mass it is question number 2 in page number 35 from second chapter so here it is question number question number 7 define mole fraction it is a four marks question it is a four marks question you have to write first a mole fraction definition the ratio of number of moles of one component by total total number of moles of all components in the solution is called mole fraction and uh, you have to calculate a mole fraction of the ethylene glycol at the same time it is a four marks question it is a very important question many times uh, it is given in previous uh, examinations many times it is given next to see question number 8 Question number eight. Let's see what is meant by positive deviations from Raoult's law. How is the sign of delta H mix is related to positive deviation from Raoult's law? So already we discussed a positive deviation and a negative deviation. So it is belongs to positive deviation. It is also four marks question. So question number eight is a positive deviation. It is from solutions. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन व्हाट इज मीन बाय नेगेटिव डिविएशन सो प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन एट नो क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इज पॉजिटिव डिविएशन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज नेगेटिव डिविएशन व्हाई आई एम कवरिंग दीज टू क्वेश्चन मीन्स डेफिनेटली यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज टू डिविएशन ओके दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन This is a question number nine. It is also for four marks. If you prepared these two questions at a time, you may know the difference between these two. Then you will get easily. So, past question number eight and question number nine, if you prepared say at a time, then you may know the difference. So, in practicing manner only, you have to prepare. For past two deviations, sir, so graph will be obtained above the above the vapor pressure of the Raoult's law. and for negative deviation graph is obtained below the vapor pressure of the raoult's law so you have to observe that difference okay next next see here question number 10 it is from electrochemistry this is the third chapter electrochemistry See electrochemistry. See this is a question number ten. Question number ten from electrochemistry and chemical kinetics. You are going to get one long answer. Direct, not one long answer. So in long answer, A, B, A is for four marks. You are going to face short answer, and B is for four marks. You are going to for. You are going to face short answer. Means two short answers combinedly you are going to get in a long answer manner. Okay. So this is the question number ten, which is for four marks uh, as a part of long answer. So question number ten, state and state and explain Kohlhaas law of independent migration of uh, ions. It is a uh, very important. So many times it is given in previous uh, examinations. So that is a. Uh, Question number forty in page number fifty nine. It is a four marks question. You are going to get as a eight marks pattern. A means you are going to get this is the four marks A or a B, whatever it may be. You are going to get it is a in a long answer. So you compulsory you should prepare this question. It is also. problematic uh, equation part uh, the kohlhaas law condensed equation part uh, so you have to read this question in practicing manner then only you will get don't try to by heart don't try to by heart so next question number 11 so give the applications of kohlhaas law so that is a statement and it is a question number 11 see it is this is also four marks uh, Four marks uh, A or B. So you are going to get. Uh, so you are going to get uh, as a part of. Uh, so this is also four marks, and it is also four marks. So this in this question, question number ten, you have to write. You have to write and explain Kohlhaas law. What is the Kohlhaas law? And then question number eleven, you have to write applications. applications of kohlhaas law okay a dissociation constant can be calculated so that is one application and by using kohlhaas law weak electrolytes limiting molar conductivity of weak electrolytes can be calculated so these two applications you have to explain so individually you are going to get 4 plus 4 combinedly you are going to get a 8 marks so in this chapter you are going to get one long answer in combining manner in combining manner okay then नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व मीन्स व्हाट इज अ मॉलिकुलरिटी इट इज फ्रॉम इट इज फ्रॉम इट इज फ्रॉम केमिकल काइनेटिक्स केमिकल काइनेटिक्स so it is from chemical kinetics sir. so this is question number 12 so question number 12 what is question number 12 means what is the molecularity 
of a reaction how is it different from order of a reaction name one bimolecular and a tri one trimolecular gaseous reaction so it is a direct question it is in question number 35 page number 67 from chemical kinetics for four marks for four marks for four marks okay question number 12 next question number 13 what is half life of a reaction see electrochemistry some deleted topics are there I am not considering deleted topics. So, you have to read these topics, that's enough. Okay, we discussed all the topics, but no need, no need to read all the topics. So, I am concerned, I am giving these important questions, concerned deleted syllabus. Okay, then it is a question number 12, that is nothing but what is the molecularity of a reaction? How is it different from the order of a reaction? Name on bimolecular and uh, one trimolecular gaseous uh, reaction it is for four marks next uh, question number 13 it is also for four marks uh, okay that is uh, half life what is a half life of a reaction derive the equations for the half life value of a zero and first order reactions so half life you have to write a definition means for stay half life then you have to derive half life of a reaction for zero order and half life of a reaction for first order it is also problematic part you have to practice this question you have to read this question in practicing manner so uh, individually four marks questions in you have a chance for getting combining manner for eight marks next 13 next question number 14 Question number 14 that is uh, what is that uh, means uh, Arrhenius equation. So it is a four marks question. It is a four marks question Arrhenius equation. So what is Arrhenius equation? Derive an equation which describes the effect of rise of temperature T and uh, the rate constant K of a reaction. Here we have a relation. Uh, between uh, rate constant k and uh, arrhenius factor so that is nothing but uh, k equal to a into e power minus ea by rt this equation is uh, given the equation knows uh, relation between rate constant and uh, temperature temperature rate constant and temperature see here what is arrhenius equation derive an equation which describes effect of temperature on the rate constant so this is the equation was proposed by arrhenius it gives the relation between rate constant k is the rate constant t is the temperature k is the rate constant and t is the temperature okay so this is the way you have to prepare this question also first three chapters uh, problematic chapters uh, so you have to read each and every question in practicing manner only and you have to check yourself uh, without uh, seeing manner then you may get uh, which uh, you are doing mistakes where you are going to, it means you are doing mistakes where you had done the mistake where then have a chance to know means no chance to repeat these mistakes in examination board exam examination point of view okay so this is the this is question number 14 next question number 15 it is the last question it is the last question so that is uh, discuss the effect of catalyst on the kinetics of a chemical reaction with a suitable diagram so double diagram it is also four marks it is also four marks so what is the effect of catalyst first you have to write catalyst catalyst which does not participates in the chemical reaction which is useful to increasing the speed of the reaction which is useful to increasing the speed of the reaction is called catalyst so it is a direct question from chemical kinetics it is question number 41 and page number 67 so these questions total 15 questions is given in your uh, question paper so uh, two short answers and one uh, two very shorts and one short from solid state 
and two uh, very shorts and four shorts from solutions why because you are going to get six marks and here from marks six plus four ten and from this chapter you are going to get a 10 marks i have not covered a very shorts why because the shorts are very important that's why i covered shorts so two short questions is given from electrochemistry and four short questions is given from chemical kinetics out of these six you are going to get two for eight marks two for eight marks so one more thing students these are the important questions from first three chapters solid status solutions chemical kinetics and electrochemistry so many chapters we discussed in electrochemistry but all the top maximum deleted topics so on considering on concerned deleted topics given important questions you have to prepare these questions so so why management wants to conduct examinations means they want to know your learning capability they want to know your working nature so don't fear student each and every student try to write examinations why because so on so if it is the second year it is the running race which contains number of hurdles so you have to cross first hurdle which is 21 marks hurdle 21 marks hardly is nothing but 35 percent next 60 percent next 90 percent like that for crossing first hurdle successfully management was going to set a beautiful program easy way you have to cross that hurdle so perfectly you have to obey this program so no need to fear no need to fear it is a pandemic year management know very well and they will take all the precautions which is suitable for a pandemic year okay they will take all the precautions and uh, you uh, means uh, don't keep any fear in your mind and don't keep fear in your any means don't keep any fear in your uh, mind so what i mean to say so you have to uh, try to write all the questions and uh, you may take time which is uh, sufficient for you and uh, uh, presentation is a uh, very important presentation is very important not uh, see no need of trying to write all the questions uh, so you have to write some questions a perfect manner so then you may start your preparation after that uh, commencing okay so so this is uh, my humble request so if you want to get good marks means uh, this is the first step you have to did first this is the first step you have to do okay so no need to fear about the examination pattern and about the pandemic year situation so you may write freely and you have to prepare you are in home so you will be safe like that you have to come to college and you have to write the exam you may go safely to home okay so management will take all the precautions okay so if you have to means uh, if you have fear you have to remove that immediately so in my point of view once again chemistry don't read with the lips you have to read with the mind means so compulsory you have to practice the what is the what is the concept and what is the question you are reading in practicing manner you have to read the chemistry in practicing manner only so you have to read one question without practicing manner and you have to read one question with practicing manner then you may know the difference practice if you practice uh, if you read in practicing manner so you may have a chance to rectify your mistakes if you are reading without practicing manner no chance to rectify mistakes if you write directly that question in examination pattern then you may lose marks so in practicing manner if you read the question and you have to check yourself without uh, uh, seeing the question where you have to write the uh, question without seeing manner then you may know where I did mistake where you did mistake okay then you may rectify that so this is the way of the of preparing preparing for board exams so compulsory you will get a good and uh, so in IP you have to think one uh, less hard work and more marks how means uh, this is the program 
you have to follow not for uh, uh, not for uh, um, the present condition so these questions uh, are useful for board exams so public uh, public board exams that is 2021 march or april okay so this is the way you have to habituated so working nature so everyone should try to write the exams and everyone should prepare yourself and everyone should try to clarify your doubts so in place of me so thank you best of luck